Remember those Christmas tease videos? Well, there's something huge that we all missed. beautiful buccaneers, Falcor here. So although I've been talking exclusively about the Monkey Island crossover coming on July 20th, one thing I have failed to do is run through the trailer and comment on some of the stuff that some of you may not have noticed. The trailer is brimming with little hints as to what might be coming, and I've seen a few suggestions within the community, and I thought it might be important to just snuff out any hopes or desires like a cynical sandwich. No, but seriously, there is a lot I think we have missed throughout the trailer showcase, starting with the most important one, Shelly the Crab. Right, right, right there. Just get, having a little pet. It's kind of cute. In this scene here, we can see a ghostly pirate ship sailing through lava. I'm sure at first glance, some of you may think this is from the Heart of Fire Tall Tale, a ghostly ship sat on lava. But Rare weren't the first ones to think up this setting, but within the Monkey Island game, LeChuck also has a ghostly ship sat within the lava, so I believe this scene is from underneath Monkey Island, as it is in the game itself. Secondly, the ship itself, I believe, is the Mad Monkey, or the Headless Monkey, as it was named within Sea of Thieves. Yes, the Monkey Island Easter Egg that is in the Pirate's Life Tall Tale 1. The Headless Monkey, renamed as such due to Guybrush removing its head, within the lore of Sea of Thieves, Captain Kate Capsize sailed the ship from Monkey Island to the Sea of Thieves and crashed, waking up in Sailor's Grave. This is Captain Kate Capsize within the game, and here she is within the trailer, asking the crew to hang on. I think this is the first time in Sea of Thieves history where an easter egg has made it into the game as canon lore. <laughs> I think that's totally awesome. It's also worth mentioning a recent addition to this galleon. In this scene you can see what is obviously chase cannons. Now I know a lot of you have been hoping that this means chase cannons will be coming to the game with an adventure mode, but sorry to burst your bubble, it's highly unlikely that they would add something like this to any ship type. Not only would it make combat completely unfair, being able to chain shot anyone in front of you to stop them moving, there is also the fact that if something like this was to come to the game, it would be a massive combat overhaul to the traditional naval. And this would have been something that would have had to have been extensively tested months prior to this update. So it's safe to say these are just assets used in a tall tale itself. If I had to hazard a guess, I imagine the ship will be sailing out of control through the lava, and you and your crew need to shoot incoming hazards with these chase cannons. Also, I just want to point out, in a previous video's thumbnail talking about this very ship, look how incredibly close I came. I bet I was making the developers sweat with this thumbnail. Now in this scene here we can see Stan talking about different ships, and the Black Pearl and Royal Revenge cosmetics can be seen. Now obviously, a lot of people presumed this means Jack Sparrow might play a part in these tall tales, or with the Black Pearl being a much larger ship, a new ship type perhaps? Well, as far as Jack Sparrow is concerned, there is a possibility that he could show up within these tall tales, and the her that he kept a promise to could be someone within Monkey Island. After all, the trinket he had could take him to different worlds. But as for a new ship type, that's very unlikely. Once again, a new ship type would require months of testing before coming to the game, and this would have been something that would have already been teased. To be honest though, I think it's neither of these things. Within the game Monkey Island, Stan is a sleazy used ship salesman, and with these ships being Pirate Emporium cosmetics, I believe this was just a sneaky little pun put in by the developers, and nothing more. But there still is a chance that Captain Mickey Mouse could show up. Also, this is just a mere observation here, but did anyone else notice that LeChuck's hat shares the same symbol as the boom kegs? Which I find interesting, given that when he appears within the trailer, it's shortly after a bunch of boom kegs go off. There is so much I want to go into with this, but I'm going to wait until the tall tales come out before I delve in deep. But for now, at the start of this video, I mentioned that the Christmas tease videos that we got last year had something hidden within them, and only now we can make the connection. Firstly, listen to what the Servant of Flame says here. 
The legend you speak of can rot within his prison. Now at this point, the only legend we knew of, who had also been imprisoned, was Pendragon. So we merely presumed that's what it meant. Now let's listen to this clip again, and then what is said within the Monkey Island trailer. The legend you speak of can rot within his prison. The Chuck has turned the memories of this island into a prison for Guybrush. Guybrush Threepwood, the legend of Monkey Island. They were teasing Monkey Island all along. Guybrush Threepwood is the legend that is rotting within his prison. All in all, it looks like this new set of tall tales might be coming with a few revelations of their own where the game's main storyline is concerned. But one thing I love about it all is not one thing appears to be a reskin or recolor of something we already have. Ha. Wait, wait, uh, wait, 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 wait. <laughs> 